Selamat petang semua. Uh, greetings from New Zealand. Uh, from cold New Zealand, quarantine in the hotel. Uh, Coach Brad here. So today, team, uh, we're just going to go over some simple um, ball handling skills. Um, that's just going to cover on different ways to try to grip the ball. For, uh, using your fingers over that seam, over the ball, using your wrists. All those little micro skills uh, that we need to know. Um, before uh, passing. So um, other things that you can get out of it is um, basically if, if you can master the, the the skill of trying to handle the ball uh, in different ways at different times on the field, it can also uh, help with your pass and, and it could also buy you some time. Um, if you look at those top top end players that are they're playing at the top level now, guys like um, Carter, Barrett, Cruden, um, the reason why they got so much time on their hands on the field and, uh, and able to uh, make uh, you know important decisions under pressure is because they're good at handling the ball. So again, uh, if it's for you, apply, uh, enjoy the video. Um, and remember, if I'm in quarantine and I can do it in this room, then there's no excuse for you. Our first drill that we're gonna do is um, our single arm push. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, what we're trying to work on here is trying to get that grip on the ball and just using our wrists, again using our wrists to try to get um, a good spin on it as well as trying to roll our fingers over that ball. Okay, so it's important that in this drill that we keep our elbows nice and close to our body so we can uh, keep it nice and controlled as opposed to trying to leave it out on the side. So we'll give it a go, I'll start off with my right hand. So again, staying nice and controlled, getting that spin on that ball, trying to roll your fingers over that seam. Um, it's important that, you know, we're still pushing upwards, okay, change sides, again, it's important that uh, not only our dominant hand is getting the skill, but also the, the, weak, the weaker hand is getting a bit of job on it as well. Sweet, okay, so from there we're going to go straight into the same drill, but we're going to use two hands now. Again, so remember we've got two sides, right over left, left over right, okay? So again, what we're trying to do is just punch up in the air, nice and close, okay? Getting that spin, getting much, as, as much spin as you can on that ball, okay? Again, all I'm using are my fingers and my wrist. As you can see, my elbows are not going up in the air, or my whole arms and hands are not going up in the air, okay? Just using our wrists and our fingers. So again, even at the top level, those professionals that you see on TV, you usually find these guys doing this even before the training starts. So sweet team, from there, we're just gonna go into uh, different uh, handling drills that uh, can help you uh, try to help um, get your grip in terms of trying to grip the ball, okay? And again, um, it's uh, probably beneficial. So the first one is we're gonna go over the top. Okay, this this ball's a size five because my hand my hands a little bit big. It's quite easier for me. Okay, so if you if you got smaller hands, try a size four or size three. Okay, from there, I'm gonna go side to side. Okay, put eye coordination as well. Sometimes in the game when uh you're receiving a pass and the defense is rushing on you. This is one that you're gonna use where you just tap the ball on, okay? Or in the line out as well. If the ball's on over throw and you need to catch it with one hand, you can. From there, we'll go over the top. Oops. Oops. Okay. Taking your time. All these little drills help. With, um, you get much, much um, pleasure and confidence uh, when you know how to grip the ball in the game. Just diagonal for those ones that want to test themselves a little bit. Okay. Sweet. So it's important in all these drills that what we do is, you know, you're trying to handle the ball. You're trying to handle the ball. In the game, you're not going to get a perfect pass. 
Um, so it's important that you're confident in what the ball's doing. Tanaka now, wide ball, somebody else, and man, oh man! Go on, the ball! Not with that sort of accuracy, and pure and simple, I don't know if in a month and a half ago they would have thrown that pass, but when you've got nothing to lose, you talked about it in the pre-match, Justin, when you can chance your arm, they took the penalty line out. They're going to try and... Sweet team, so from there, we're just going to move on to uh, a few skills that the basketballers do that is relevant to rugby, so... One's figure eight, where most of you probably know, and then uh, drop ball. Again, in the beginning, just take your time. Once you get your rhythm, once you get a little bit confident, then you can pick up the speed. Sweet. So from here, again, trying to stay nice and nice and low. Again, trying to start off nice and slow. Getting that ball through the legs. If you get a little bit confident, you pick up the speed. Remember, you can uh, go the other way as well, through the back. Uh, and then the last one is just the drop ball. So again, stay nice and low. From here, all you're gonna do is throw to the back. Tidied up their ruck ball as well. That's not a good pass, but they keep it going. And here's McKenzie. Is um, what we call the the backspin. Okay, so uh, you'll probably see this uh, mostly in the games where uh, players are very very confident in trying to either back end pass or offload, especially offload. Uh, you see Sunny Bill and uh, Carter, guys like that, that are, that are very confident in doing it. Now some room for Carter, the fend, oh, brilliant ball to Salvia! This is magnificent from the All Blacks! And they're in for this! Yeah, but they didn't even need it, just one more phase and brilliant offload from Carter. Very so What we're going to do here is, um, we're just going to grip our hands around the ball. We're going to start on this, this side. We're going to turn, drop, and then we're going to roll our fingers over that ball. Okay, so like so. So again, another drill to do in your spare time, just to get the feel of the ball. It's important that uh, you get your fingers rolling over that ball. Change sides. Once you get confident in, uh, you know, trying to pass like this, you'll be surprised uh, how, how good you get if you're Keep trying to practice this. So it does come in handy in the game. Milner scatter. They're closing, but he's got Boat and Barrett. Oh, oh you've got to be kidding. Goodness me, that is. Oh, that's not conventional. That's razzle dazzle. Gotta love it. Well, how quick's Gassan for a start to even be in the race and to force that kind of wizardry from the. Uh, thanks, team, for tuning in. Um, that's me for today. Uh, just remember. Um, it's important that you invest time in yourself if you want to get good at the game and invest time in yourself and in, in, in your skills so practice all the time and look to better yourself every day it's not going to happen overnight um, what you put in is what you get out